Fantastic Four issue 22 finds the Fantastic Four at the mercy of the Katari aboard the Kree Scroll command ship, with the microscopic seeds embedding themselves into the thing, eating him alive. Johnny comes in with a controlled burn, told to hurry by Reed as in Yancey Street, Wolverine is yelled at by Franklin for stabbing Nakala. Spider-Man tries to alert them about something coming, but Wolverine is busy defending himself, saying that there was a danger everywhere and he did what he does, and talking about it won't help since they need to get the girl patched up. Spider-Man continues to feel his spider sense tingling as Alicia promises Joven they will do everything they can to save her. However, Joven intends on killing Nakala, saying that she is to die by his hand. Wolverine restrains the kid as Spider-Man still tries to get the other's attention. As Joven is taken care of and Nakala is moved inside, Sky asks Spider-Man what he's doing, learning he's honed in on some danger thanks to his spider sense and learning that they are completely surrounded. Peter also learns who Sky is, finding she is meant to be Johnny Storm's soulmate. Before he can ask his many, many questions, the Dark Harvest attack, striking at the group while Sky's psychic attention is elsewhere. The priests tell the heroes who they are and they don't answer to anyone except the Kotari. The elder priest calms his people, saying that they have come for the Kree child, but Wolverine attacks, defending Jo Ven, who is insulted the Terran would try and protect him. During the battle, Sky becomes poisoned by the thorns fired from one of the assassin's skin and they manage to bind Joven with the vines, capturing him. Inside, Nakala's wounds are treated, and she is knocked out from the medication given to her. Franklin wants to go and help their friends, but Val doesn't like leaving Alicia all alone with a wounded scroll, so she gets the holographic image inducers out, planning on scanning Alicia, and one of them will take her place. Alicia says that she can take care of herself, and doesn't like the idea of them looking at like her just so they can play pranks on Uncle Ben. They hear screaming, and Alicia knows that it was Spider-Man, so looking outside, Franklin finds the priests are overrunning the heroes. The High Priest of Pama begins to read the captured Joven's mind, seeing Marvel making the Omni Wave Projector, the ultimate Kree weapon which the Kotari want to win the war. Joven is knocked out from the stress on his mind as the priest calls for his men to find the Scroll Girl. The group enter the Fantastic Four's home, finding a device the priest knows the Rogue Scroll Delilah used to summon forth a new Fantastic Four, which has happened again since Spider-Man and Wolverine were the first two members to show up. Soon the other two members, Ghost Rider and the Hulk arrive. They tell the priests to stand down, but the Hulk tires of the standoff, smashing the large assassin out of the building. The priest calls for a retreat, despite not getting the girl. Before they can retreat to the shadows again, Wolverine attacks, looking to finish off the old man, but the thorn-throwing assassin covers him in his poisonous thorns. Spider-Man tries to stick some spider traces to the disappearing assassins, but they quickly destroy destroy them, escaping into the night as Wolverine's healing factor begins working overtime to kick the poison out of his system. The heroes meet with Hulk and Ghost Rider, only to find it's not the real heroes, but Val and Franklin using holograms to trick the assassins. Later on, everyone is patched up in the med bay and Peter finally gets his questions answered about Sky and Johnny. Franklin tells Logan that the real Ghost Rider and Hulk aren't going to join them and Wolverine and Spider-Man aren't cutting it, hoping for more X-Men to join them, but Logan says that the assassins controls plants, so that's not a good idea to use plant-based portals to bring more X-Men to them. Franklin calls him useless, but Logan knows the Omega-level mutant needs to man up and start acting like one. Franklin punches Logan as Reed calls into the home. The kids try and decide what to tell their father, and Val decides on the truth, telling him what happened, and also learning from Reed about their war with the Kotari, and how it all seems tied together, so the priests of Pama are not to be taken lightly. Val says that she didn't activate her father's device right and only two replacement members of the Fantastic Four arrived. Reed knows it needs some fine tuning but he can help out remotely, revealing some Fantastic Four inspired costumes for Wolverine and Spider-Man. Reed also reveals to Val and Franklin that Spider-Man and Wolverine were summoned to complete the roster, since no one else is needed because the two children are there to fill in the gaps. He says their adventure isn't over and all that matters now is they try again and be nothing short of fantastic. The new Fantastic Four assemble and their first act as a team is to figure out why the Dark Harvest want Joven and then they will free him and kick the assassin's butts. Fantastic Four issue 22 did an excellent job of setting up the story for Val and Franklin and some of the richest family adjacent characters for Empire. It's really great the book isn't about fighting the Kotari but a group who are allied with them it means there's a little bit more variety happening and it's not all just all the same green plant people in every book. Spider-Man and Wolverine are great complements 
reference to the new Fantastic Four, and I really like the new costumes, particularly Wolverine's. I really like that blue and black look he has. Logan butting heads with Franklin is great as well, and I like it comes off as kind of like a good-natured ribbing as well, kind of like what Franklin has with Ben. I'm very much looking forward to the continuation of this story next issue, and what will happen to the Skrull and Kree children and the weapons they seemingly have hidden in their minds. I'm going to give this issue an 8.5 out of 10.